you live in a wall, but for how long? When he woke up the day after, he was fresh and felt great. This high structure he made from straw gave him the safety he sought. There is nothing scarier than going to sleep thinking that, at any second, someone is coming to kill you. Those night's raids traumatized him. He was terrified and couldn't sleep well. His sleep was light, and nightmares frequented him. When he was young, they came for his family. He woke up to the sound of dying men and screaming women, and he survived by hiding under straw. When the harvest was over, he was anxious. The season of war had just started. He looked at the piles of straw and had a great idea. Straw had saved him once, so why not again? He surrounded himself with a high circular structure of straw that nobody could sneak on him quickly, and it enhanced his ability to defend himself since one man up equals ten men below. After he was done, he slept inside it. He enjoyed a sound sleep for many nights, and everybody was jealous. One day, he was asleep and heard the squeaking sound of his feet on straw. He took his spear and waited in alarm. Then, a woman emerged from above the straw. When he asked why she sneaked on him in the middle of the night, she said that she wanted to sleep in this structure. She wanted safety and did not wish to be carried away in the middle of the night as a trophy by raiders. She told him she would do anything for him if he let her stay. Since then, this structure has been called a wall and has become popular, and women refuse to be with any man who has none. The man had a family, and this wall had to expand. Then he made the door, a weak spot in the wall, but it relieved him from poking it whenever he wanted or exited. Luxury has a price. A roof was added to prevent the rain from disturbing their living. His children have grown up, needed similar structures, and helped each other build them. This wall was later called a house, and it saved their lives many times. But the heart of man is dark, and straw won't keep men's greed at bay. Straw can be dismantled or picked, and it can burn. Thus, men used wood, which was not as strong as stone. And then stone walls became the norm. That's how the story of the three pigs and the wolf came to be. The wall expanded to hold other walls, and many walls inside a wall were called a town. Those people found solace during the day but didn't trust each other at night. New problems came by. People living in confined spaces for long times can be as dangerous to each other as the outside. So, another stone was needed. A more straightforward stone was laid in the middle of the town, and on it were written the first laws to govern the people inside. Laws can't stand the lack of walls, and people can't survive without law. Don't kill or steal, those are the only laws needed. Every crime is just a variation of one of them. The wall continued to expand, and over time, it swallowed towns. And this new invention was called a nation. However, it was not practical to build a wall around the nation. The Chinese tried, and it was ineffective. Thus, men drew an imaginary wall around them, calling it a border. Though imaginary, this wall was holy. If you dared to cross it without permission, you would face consequences. Those new walls expanded so much that another wall was the only obstacle for them. Walls expanded worldwide, and their expansion led to people dying defending or attacking them. One day, cannons rendered the stone walls obsolete, and the world changed forever. But the wall is still inside our heads, preventing us from becoming one big nation of humans with no walls.